Hi people, Tears here. Um, just speaking about three of our youngsters and just something regarding, you know, the club's current situation. Of course, um, in the January transfer window, we wasn't linked with any defenders, although that's the area which we have we really are struggling the most. Um, of course, Rob Holding, you know, he's out for the whole season. Bellerin's now out for the season. Socrates out to the end of this month. Um, Koscielny... He, he's been back, but, you know, we're not sure how stable he is. Also, Mustafi of recent, you know, looking like he, he's prone to becoming injured anytime soon. And, you know, the fact that we didn't um, sign any defenders, um, you know, makes me wonder whether Una Emery's looking at any of these defenders in the under-23s. Um, of course, on the screen, I have highlighted three defenders, you know, f- um of two different positions. I've got two set and a half in there and one right back. And what I want to uh, know, I probably won't find this out, but I, I wonder, you know, whether these players are being somewhat incentivized at all. If they are, that you know, if they put in the performances, they, they can, you know, feature in the first team because as much as we're having injuries and mistakes from certain players playing in that centre half position or at right back, um, you know, we've got players here that are meant to be the future of the club and I feel that, if anything, some of them should be given opportunities. Of course, um, Julio Pelagrozello, he's featured a couple of times for us this season and he's looked decent when he has played. Um, Zek Medley's come on a couple of times um, and, you know, although the opposition hasn't been so great, um, you know, he has a he has a, a, a proper physique for a centre-half, you know, a big, big build... And, you know, he's a left-footed centre-half, which is, you know, we don't have that. The only person that, that can do that is Monreal when he, when he slots in there. And then, of course, um, Jordi, I'll say 2-2. Um, he's a right-back. He's the first one in the image, of course. I look at, you know, the Bellerin situation. He's currently out for the whole season. Of course, Littstein is relatively... Well, not relatively, he's shocking. Um, you know, Jenkins has been given an opportunity... And, of course, Maitland Niles was playing it for slotting in there, but, of course, he's not that sort of player. I just wonder whether these these players, are, you know, they're, they're getting any sort of in motivation to think. They look at the players above them and think, well, you know, they're not playing that great. Surely I could do a job. And, of course, if they were to do a job and do a good job, of course, they could somewhat cement a uh, somewhat, you know, place in the team, not saying they're going to be the first choice players for the future, well, they're not saying they're going to play first team from now to the end of next season, but of course maybe they could be on a, on a rotation basis, um, as you know, we're going to have to wait to the summer to see how much money we're going to spend on transfers, as if we are going to go bold in the transfer window, but I just think, you know, do any of these... Um, players, not just them, but other players in the under-23s, do any of them, I wonder if any of them have that sort of, whether any of them have been incentivized or whether any of them look at the the guys above and think, well, you know, in that position, I'm surely can do a better job than him after watching one, you know, one or two bad performances, some mistakes here and there. Um, You know, I think about someone like, um, I'll say Tutu, you must have looked and seen Lichsteiner against Manchester City and thought, I'm sure I can do a better job than that. Of course, I might not have the experience. You know, the op- the occasion may overwhelm me. You never know. You never know how you're going to be on the day, but surely I could do better than that. I look at the likes of Mavropanos. Um, none of us knew who he was. In his first game, was against Manchester United. He did a fantastic job. It's been unfortunate. He's been in- injured for most of the season. He's back now. And I just think that, you know, the... The best time to get um, the best oppo- best results from some of these young players is to 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 blood them. If you put a man in at the deep end, you know you you're either gonna uh, sink or you're either gonna drown or you're gonna you know you're gonna survive. And sometimes it may be the best best possible choice to put some some of these guys. And I'm not saying we're gonna go start our next Premier League match with Zek Medley and Plegrazello as the two centre halves, but surely from all the issues we're seeing in, in the team, mainly in defence, surely these guys can't be that far off of a um, a first-choice place at the current moment in time, especially between now and the end of the season. Um, that was just my thoughts on things. I wanted I wanted to get other people's opinions in it, whether they think some of these players should be given an opportunity and whether 
you know, they you think um, some of these players have the motivation to look at the guys above them and think, well, he's making that mistake, came off the game, surely I can do better than that. And, you know, hopefully if that's the case, if they are being properly um, motivated, um, hopefully they can be, you know, given some first-team opportunities sooner rather than later and we can see what they're made of. But, yeah, that's just my thoughts on things. Let me know whether you think any of these players should be featuring in the first team anytime soon um, with our current defensive crises. Not saying they have to start games, maybe even, well, maybe not as a centre-half, maybe as a right-back, maybe you, you feature last, you know, 30 minutes. Like the other day, Jenkinson come on um, for Lichstein, he featured last 30 minutes, he did a good job. You know, you never know. The best way you're going to find out is to is to put them in there and I'd rather have some guys in there that you know have the hunger, determination, and motivation to do to do the best for the club. But yeah, that's all from me on this. Um, of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.